What up guys? Um, good morning, actually. It's like 12 04 in the morning on a Wednesday, Wednesday? Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, I, um, I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, first and foremost, I ended my relationship with my boyfriend today. Well, technically yesterday. Um, several people have been asking me what happened. In all honesty, I, I, I only tell people that I'm really close to because at the end of the day, people are going to talk and they're going to talk shit and they're going to judge no matter what. So I just told a few of them, you know what? It's simple. I lost trust. I lost respect. And, um, and they're like, Oh, long distance is hard. It actually had nothing to do with long distance. Um, because I've had long I've had a long distance relationship and it has nothing to do with with long distance. I um I lost trust and respect in him. Um he also um was a little narcissistic. And there were some there were signs and and uh, personality traits that I saw or that I noticed um the fuck is this person doing people in LA are weird dude I saw certain personality traits ab about him and I I want to talk about this because this is like toxic um his, his true colors came out okay let's just put it that way his true colors came out um we were a little shy of eight months and some people might say it's fucked up that I'm putting him on blast, but you know, a lot of things occurred before and before we went to Hawaii and while we were in Hawaii that not a lot of people know about. Like I was putting pictures on like social media and everybody's like, oh, she looks so happy. And they're like, God, you look so happy. And I was like, but I'm not. They're like, really? I'm like, no, dude. Just, just, I'm like, just because you see two people um, smiling, happy, doesn't mean they're 100% happy. Maybe they're faking it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they... Some people don't want to expose what's going on, you know? Um, I... I have love for him, but I'm not in love with him. And I was very, very honest with him. I do care for him. I'm not going to deny that. It just wasn't, um, there were certain things. I'm not going to sit here and like t totally put him on blast, but there were certain things that he did and said and commented about that were not, that did not sit right with me. Um, even people in public, even some like when I would bring him to my to my open mics, even to my open my my book show, guys were like, "Look at me, like what the fuck is going on with that guy?" Um, a lot of a few of them like, "Dude, your man was a dick." Um, a couple of them said, "Man, he came off really controlling," um, which was true. And I, I learned a lot in this relationship. I learned, see, relationships, you, we, when, when we get into relationships, see, I'm no psychologist, like, I'm not an expert. I'm just speaking off of experience. Every relationship you're in, whether it's a friendship relationship or, like, a marriage or, like, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship or like a business relationship, it's a learning experience. You're learning about yourself. You're learning about what you do like, what you don't like. And it's it's helping me to know more about what I don't want in a man, what I do want and what I don't want in a man. And, um, you know, I, I was, before I drove up here to LA to, um, to, do my open mic and, you know, come to the show, I was crying. I was crying in the bathroom because I, in all honesty, you guys, I felt like I was going down the same path, like when I was with my ex-husband. Um, and, and 
for those of you who are watching this video, you're, you're probably thinking, wait a second, ex-husband? Yes, I was, f I was um, previously married to a cop and I d petitioned a divorce because I was suffering from domestic violence. I was a victim of domestic violence. And my, my now ex-boyfriend had some of those traits. I wouldn't say it was domestic violence, but um, he had personality traits of, of an, I guess, I guess you can call it a narcissist. Um, and I, no one, whether, whether the person's a woman or a, or, or a man, no one deserves to go, to be, to go through that, you know, to be with someone and then, you know, six months goes by and everything is great. Everything is like awesome. Right. And then like, and then like two months later, shit hits the fan. And I'm glad, I'm glad that I found this out now rather than like, let's say if we were to get engaged, you know, and get serious, it will get harder, you know, which is true. And I personally feel like I have a lot to offer a guy. Like I'm a really great girl you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm really smart. I have a lot of great qualities about myself and, um, I, I just shouldn't settle for less. And the only reason why I, I don't know if I, if, if you want to call it settling for less, but I felt like, I felt like he was a good guy, you know, like he was, he was faithful and, and loyal, but like I said, his true colors came out. Um, again, I'm not going to go into deep detail because it's not really fair to him. Like I would appreciate him going on law or on social media and putting me on blast, but I, I don't know. I feel like honestly, like I feel like I'm kind of contradicting myself, but then I'm not because I really wanted to make this video and share with you guys like, yeah, I ended up with my man because of the fact that. I couldn't trust him. I lost respect for him. And yes, he had tr personality traits of a narcissist. He had personality traits of a controlling douchebag. And um, the way he would treat me in public and it just wasn't, it wasn't nice. Um, I did get looks from people. Like, looks like, what the fuck, dude? Like, um, nobody will say anything. People wouldn't talk, but they just would give me that look like he's an ass. Um, yeah, but tonight I met um, Reem Adan. She's another comedian. I met um, Aaron Cater. He's also a famous comedian. He's half Palestinian and half white. Um, and... Um, I'm glad and I'm I'm humbled and inspired at the same time that I'm meeting people that are from my, you know, my my neck of the woods, you know, that are Arab, that are particularly Palestinian or a Chaldean, you know? Because Reem, she's um, Iraqi and she's Iraqi Muslim. And, you know, we all, at the end of the day, jokes aside, we all collaborate as Arabs, which I think is great. And I'm, I'm really humbled and honored and happy to be working with people of my own culture because let's be realistic in this industry there's a lot of whites there's a lot of hispanics and there's a lot of blacks you don't really see a lot of indians doing it you see more and more arabs getting out there and saying or persians getting out there and doing their thing and killing it um and i just wanted to you know I just wanted to put that out there, but, um, but yeah, well, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, thumbs up, thumbs down. This is your girl, Amira Nasser. Um, I, I will be doing another open mic, um, tomorrow. Well, technically today, cause it's like past midnight. Um, I'll be doing another one, uh, at Flappers. And from then I'll be <clears throat> go driving up to the Bay Area because I have an event to go to. But anyhow, um, this is a part of the journey. 
It's been about, what, six months, I guess? And I'm learning a lot more about myself. I got a lot of advice from a couple of the, of the really great comics. Um, and yeah. And, uh, the advice was be funny, love every minute of it, be yourself, um, be funny. <laughs> like Aaron told me, be funny, be yourself, but be funny. Um, and just don't give a fuck. He's like, seriously, just do not give a fuck. Be funny. Don't don't worry about what anybody's gonna say or think because at the end of the day, you're gonna get judged no matter what. You're just people are gonna judge you no matter what. They're gonna judge you on the way you look. They're gonna judge you on the way you talk. At the end of the day, as long as you are making people laugh and you're killing it and you're funny, and he's like, oh, and and another piece of advice. He's all, don't be a dick. Anywhere you go, say hi. Give the owners you know, like engage in a conversation. Hi, don't be a dick. Be nice. Um, no matter whether how famous you are, be nice, you know, cause, um, he, like when I went up and asked him for a, for a picture, I'm like, can I please take a picture with you? Some, some comics are like, no, like I don't want to take a picture, you know, like I want to be left alone. And some of them are like, hell yeah, I'll take a picture with you. And I told him like, I'm like, I'm a big fan, you know, and I'm humbled to even be sitting here next to you. So, you know, it's just, um, it's surreal to me. Like all of this is happening is like surreal. I, I'm shocked. I'm still pinching myself the fact that I got a booked show within four months of doing comedy. Like, like even Karen said to, even Aaron said to me like, dude, he's like, you're just starting out. He's like, just have fun. Do your thing. Stop worrying about the time. Just do your thing. And I'm like, okay, fuck. Is that it right here? Oh, <gasps> fuck. Anyway, um, so I think that's about it for tonight. Um, yeah. Adios, guys.